Hi viewers, welcome to SHS Tech Solutions. This is the 26th tutorial for CSS beginners. Today, in this tutorial, what we discuss on uh, what we discuss on today is how to create responsive table using only HTML and CSS. What we discuss on today, responsive table. How to create responsive table using HTML and CSS. We are not using the bootstrap or anything uh, anything else. So my in this tutorial i am clearly explaining how to create responsive table using css and html what we discuss on today responsive table creation using css and html each and everything i will explain with coding before going to coding part i will say one thing shs tech solution provide the all the web technologies like html css js jquery Bootstrap, AngularJS, and digital marketing technologies like SEO, SMO, SMM, complete free web tutorials for the SHS tech solutions. So guys, please like, share my videos, and please subscribe my channel. And please support me. Okay guys, I'm going to topic. Here, this is the base, this is the brackets editor. Here, first of all, I am writing the basic HTML structure. Top HTML. HTML. Add title responsive table creation responsive table creation responsive table creation body this is the basic HTML structure we are of you know here I am writing the only view View class, view class equal to responsive table tab or a step. So here I write the table table next the body here th th first name first name last name company name company name and state name district name district name next Another row here. So this is the total. These five are the headings. Table headings. Also, we'll check the output. Yeah, this is the output. Total. These are the headings. Table headings. Next, I am writing the table data. So that's why I am writing the TD. ABC. TD, last name. D, E, F. Company name. TD. Emphasis. Versus state name Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh district name Krishna. Also check the output. Yeah, this is the output. First name, last name, company name, state name, and the district. I'm copy this row. Totally, I am create the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six rows. Next, I am write the CSS for this. First of all, I am write the normal CSS. Next, I am apply the response style.
border collapse collapse border to px solid so check the output yeah this is the output next time write the width 100% adding 15 pixel external and center external and center next H really adding 15 pixel is applied. PH, PH, background color, background color. Okay. Color white. Font size eighteen pixel. Font style. Style italic. So we will check the output. Yeah, this is the output. Once you table creation, once the table creation using CSS and HTML, using CSS and HTML. Yeah. Responsive table creation using CSS and HTML. Here, this is the not responsive. Next time, write the responsive for this. What is the class name? Workflow X Auto. Suppose you can minimize it. It is responsive. Only table is responsive. Table is not. Yeah. Table. Table has a underscore horizontal scroll bar. So that's why it, this table is the responsive. So guys, this is the process to write the responsive table creation using CSS and HTML. If you have any doubts or comments, please below the video. I hope we all are understanding the, how to write the, uh, how to create the responsive table using CSS and HTML. Before going to complete this tutorial, I will say one thing. SHS Tech Solution provides all the web tech, sorry, all the web technologies and digital marketing technologies also. So guys, please like, share my videos and please subscribe my channel and please support me. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.